Have you ever heard of Minecraft? It's a game by the Swedish game developer Mojang. It came out in 2011, but it had been around for a few years before that in what they call nowadays early access. Of course you know what I'm talking about because in the nearly 10 years since its release, Minecraft has become a household name in the same echelon as Pong and Mario. Since its release, it has claimed the best-selling video game ever title, with the Wikipedia page currently listing 180 million copies sold, and it even has its own convention, Minecon. I don't really care about any of that today. Sure, I still load up the game from time to time to muck around, or we'll play with some mods on our streams, but Minecraft for me will always be the crazy game I asked my brother to buy me for Christmas, and then immediately hated. Until I realized the fun in building, and even more fun in surviving. I'm not sure exactly when in 2010 that I first started playing what is now known as Minecraft Classic, but I do remember the sense of wonder I had looking at this tiny island of grass blocks and weird trees. I clicked and placed a few blocks, destroyed others, and pretty soon I had some sort of little house that I could call my own. Now when it comes to my Minecraft prowess, I'd say I, eventually I got the knack for making some cool looking buildings and structures, but when I was first starting out, I was lucky to have a roof over my head. Minecraft Classic was basically the first version of Minecraft, and I must have played it for a few weeks leading up to December 2010, when I found out it was downloadable. I can't recall the specifics of why I was gung-ho about getting the alpha version of Minecraft, why it was different from the classic that was on the browser, I just knew I wanted to download it. And also looking at the site on the Internet Archive's Wayback Machine, I can see that there's an option for a new version of the game, and that probably tickled my brain. I remember sitting at my desk shooting my brother a text asking if he could buy me this Minecraft thing for Christmas, and within an hour, I got an email for him with the code to redeem. I excitedly wait for the game to download, and when it was finished, I clicked play. Now up until this moment, I had only played the online creative version. So when I clicked that play button, and I was thrust into survival mode, I was supremely disappointed. Where was my creative mode? Who was this guy that just ran up to me and exploded? I was utterly crushed. That seems a bit harsh, but for those of you who don't know, or may not remember, when Minecraft Alpha was available, Creative Mode was still only available on the Classic Mode, which is the one on the website. Because the actual game that they were building was survival. This made a young me very angry. Why couldn't I just build? Why did they not include my favorite mode? I honestly remember being very upset that this is what the game was, and I hadn't even played that version yet. I just loaded it up. And with that, I actually stopped playing Minecraft. Now, I'm not sure how much time went by before I dived back in. I eventually wandered back to the Minecraft executable sitting on my desktop. I want to say it was probably after Christmas break when all my friends at school were talking about starting a server and they wanted me to play. So I jumped back in. And this survival thing was actually kind of fun. It turns out it's the heart of Minecraft. It's really what makes the game special, overcoming creepers and skeletons, building incredible structures that you spent hours digging the stone for. My friends and I had a blast. We spent weeknights building huge castles, griefing each other's projects. Now, years later, I think I enjoy the constraints of survival way more than the freedoms of creative. Minecraft has changed a lot in the past 11 years. I started writing this video about how Minecraft will always be alpha to me. But since that, I've come to realize that Minecraft will always be Minecraft to me. I still play it for about a week straight, once a year, or even whenever we stream it, I just get obsessed and can't stop. It's a game that has changed, but it's changed for the better. I can't think of any other game I've stuck with this long that hasn't crapped out or done something horrible that makes me not want to play it anymore. Minecraft has endured. I may not have the same servers or friends as I did back in Alpha, but I still have Minecraft. I have Creepers, I have C418's music, I have digging. And that will guide me back to that same feeling I had in 2010 every time I play. And that's all that matters. Oh, hello there. You've caught me practicing my reading. Boy, I sure wish I wasn't illiterate. Clearly you've enjoyed another Subpixel video. If you could like, comment, or subscribe, it lets us and it lets YouTube know that our content is worth watching. In the meantime, I'm going to get back to pretending.